Hey everybody, hello from New York. I'm spending a bunch of days here. Uh, it's my pleasure to see your all your faces again. I'm going to do a quick overview of the dashboard that I've been building that allows us to keep better track of client growth, answer questions like who are our users, where they come from, how are they engaging with our products, where are they blocked, and ultimately where do those blockers translate into opportunities for um, new features and products uh, that help us scale the network. So um, as you might remember the next slide from uh, a previous conversation, the TLDR here is, can we actually start answering these questions in a data-driven way? Um, as a growth uh, uh, practitioners, we are held accountable by, our, by the metrics we set, and we have to really deeply understand the whole user journey um, coming from product marketing through to data cap provisioning, and then ultimately how they're actually using our product. And so uh, my Launchpad product, uh, project was around uh, wearing my data scientist hat yet again. Deep was making a great joke yesterday. He was saying, you don't go to SQL, SQL comes to you. Um, so, you know, wearing that hat that I've always enjoyed wearing and, um, you know, sharpening my, uh, my, my data engineering knives and getting things all chopped up and ready to go in a, in a beautiful dashboard trying to get a bunch of different sources um, from Airtable, and HubSpot, uh, and Google Analytics, and a whole bunch of things, and uh, GitHub, a whole bunch of things connected. So the next slide gives you a good sense of like the different places where I'm drawing information from. Uh, this has essentially been a really productive collaboration with the Sentinel team that is building an awesome um, PL data warehouse and figuring out ways in which we can use uh, five trend connectors, for instance, to integrate all these different things into a common place where we can actually uh, build out a suite of um, really clean databases uh, with easy to use primary keys at a client level, at a deal level, um, and, and actually understand the full end to end flow of our users across uh, the data onboarding experience. This is uh, the uh, first version of the client growth dashboard. There's been actually a bunch of changes made under the hood since you, we last uh, saw each other two weeks ago. Um, a bunch of cleanup work, really, and new, a bunch of new integrations. So in this first section, we can answer the question, how are users finding us and what are they interested in? Um, I'm about to integrate Google Analytics too, so you get a good sense of like the actual places where they're actually um, on the internet, where they're finding us. Um, over here, we get to see some information on data cap provisioning, uh, some crucial metrics like time to data cap, which refers to the time between uh, someone requesting some data that they want to upload through the Fill Plus program uh, and, the and the time where they actually get that data cap. So you see a nice uh, kind of you know, trend here where we are reducing the time necessary to provision the data cap necessary, keeping an eye out on the various requests and what state they're currently in. Um, and then crucially, a, call, uh, a few different funnel views. Um, one here, I think, is an extremely useful view of how on a weekly basis, our clients are segmenting are segmented into their different sizes. In other words, how much data have they uploaded so far? And so this is really interesting to see that growth is coming from both people who are just beginning to upload, but also people who have uploaded a significant amount. And this allows us to see where we might put in some of our resources investing into more of the product marketing early stage, aha moment, versus making it easier to upload data at scale, because believe me, it's not easy to upload, uh, you know, one petabyte of, of data. Um, all this culminating with a few things, right? Understanding who our clients are. You know, the National Library is uploading 500 terabytes of data this week. Um, how can we support them down to, you know, the people who are actually uploading for the first time? Um, so all in all, this is, um, you know, something that was built with, I think, uh, I think a lot of kind of metrics attention. Um, and we are going to, you know, in the next steps, try to integrate things more, document a bunch of things, automate the production of a bunch of, of a couple of weekly reports, um, and, and hopefully create the space for a data analyst maybe, or in general, create the space for uh, everybody at PL to come in, understand how our growth is, is actually growing, um, and, uh, and really make our, 
you know, uh, get, get to a great uh, place where our demand side uh, scales. Thank you so much.